Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and gas time once again. Um, actually, I shouldn't even say good morning. Uh, technically, it's still nighttime. Uh, the, it's 11:32 p.m. right now, but uh, since I don't really have I don't really have anything else to add to this cast. Um, and plus, there are gonna be a, there is gonna be a fair amount of moving parts on here, so I expect some goofs here and there. Um, again, I'm gonna try to keep the visuals to a, to a minimum because um, this is gonna be this is gonna be a continuation of the nature walk from uh, Toronto Island. So and I'm gonna start at the uh, the island water treatment plant, I guess. So, so let me go ahead and get that. Let me go ahead and get that started. And um, parts of this was played yesterday um the reason being is um the video is now about halfway over but i think it was um i think i left off more towards the end over here but again i'm trying to i don't want this video to end or yeah i don't want this video to end part way in my end of my cast video so i went ahead and just rewound it back to like around the midpoint And again, for those that are for those that are wondering um, why this video or why this place in particular, Toronto Islands, um, about a week ago, I saw one of my favorite channels, not just bikes. They did a video about this, basically being the only car-free place in all of uh, in all of Canada, or, except for that little that truck and semi over there. But there are more exceptions and not the rule. Um. But yeah, so I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd give this video a go. Um, I've been doing this for probably the past few days now. Yeah, here we go. I think this is where I left off in my um. Uh, I think it was my uh, second video. But anyway, I'm kind of I'm kind of digressing here, so let me move along. Uh, but to start with. Pinball stream, um, just like yesterday, it very it was very hit or miss and hot and cold. I mean, the the very very first table I started on, I just freaking crushed my high score. Too bad I forgot to make a screenshot of it. But yeah, I just demolished my high score. But um, all the other tables, not so good. Just. Had a fair amount of trouble getting stuff going, but then for the um, for the tables that I could get something going, I got a lot going. Like, you know, again, I just totally kicked ass, but then the rest of the tables, just total ass. And I, um, I need to... Oh, that's still there. Ass! All right. Okay, so anyway... But like like I said, um, a hot and cold session, kind of like yesterday. Um, pinball arcade was pretty much more of the same, um, with the exception of maybe one table that I totally kicked butt on. I beat um, I beat my high score. Um, all the rest of them just really struggling. So. And then um. Zachariah pinball, I, I, it kind of came, I kind of came to the conclusion on Zachariah that whoever designed those pinball tables have never designed pinball tables. And you, you, those that have, uh, those that have heard my other cast videos, this is gonna, this is gonna sound fairly familiar, but you know, I consider it a ta a major design flaw when. When if say the ball goes in the left out lane into a kickback and that kickback kicks in and sends the ball over to the right out lane. Yeah, that's a major design flaw. Zachariah has that kind of shit in spades in those tables. Um Like um It's the end of the ball. The very moment ball save ends. Like the ball drains. 
just a mere split second after the ball save ends, it counts as a ball loss. Saying, so like like no grace period or anything like most other most other tables have. And plus something else I just thought of too. Um, I am. I know, I know Medieval Madness, it definitely comes to mind. Uh, it's got a smart ball save. Like, um, I think uh, if the, if the ball's up in the bumpers, they're just being bumped around and stuff and, and not like, like actually being in play, the countdown, the countdown on the ball save freezes. Whereas, um, I think there's other tables that have that as well. Like, like you know, like during cutscenes and stuff like that. You know, the ball saver timer doesn't, you know, doesn't wind down. Not so on Zachariah. I mean, if there's a, if there's a 10 second ball save, it, you know, when the 10 seconds is up, the ball save is gone. Even if you're, you know, even if the ball is stuck up in the bumper, you know, it's still counting down. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here real quick. Okay, but, but, but yeah, I, it is, these are conclusions I came to yesterday when I was, uh, when I was streaming Zachariah Pinball. It's like, they must have never designed pinball tables before, or they never did any research. You know, again, you know, poorly, you know, poorly designed kickback, poorly designed ball save. Um. Oh, there was something. Oh, and um, you know, you put putting the ball into, putting the putting the ball into a saucer hole, into an eject hole, and then um, that eject hole literally ejects the ball straight down the middle now to be fair there's a few other there's a a few other tables um that have that kind of crap as well circus voltaire comes to mind there's like a little mini ramp behind the uh, i am the ringmaster that the little green head i'm, I'm sorry i don't have a if i knew i was going to talk about this i probably would have i probably would have brought a lot of brought along a screenshot so you have an easier time as to what I'm talking about but you know a little mini loop behind his head if you went from right to left on that mini loop the ball would literally vroom, head straight down the middle so that's another that's another design flaw right there but like I said it there's only a few examples of that in uh in in most other tables but in the Zachariah tables a lot of ta a lot of them are like that you put the ball on the ejectile Bink, it shoots it straight down the middle. It's like, no, that's not how that should work. Oh, and once again, I totally forgot to mention that this is going to be both a cast video, you know, talking about my day and stuff, and, um, and a commentary video talking about the scenery. But... Today it's going to be more more on the cast side of things. I mean, I've already seen this before, and I've already done, I've already said my piece about about the current location. Like, I thought this is a nudie beach at first until you get a closer look at that guy. Oh wait, no, it's a it's a man. Ah, uh, but uh, one other thing I did. Um, this came up in my YouTube recommendations, and I've already started watching a few of them. This is from a, this is from a channel. I definitely subbed to this guy, Jens95. He puts up hockey videos, and also, he's a fellow Minnesotan, just like myself. So, but anyway, um, one of his, uh, one of his video series, protecting teammates, um. Um, yeah, these are all hockey fights that broke out. But yeah, these are those are hockey fights that broke out because one of their teammates, he got like cold cocked or t-boned or just, you know, and oftentimes, you know, or let me let me kind of rewind a bit. But these kind of hockey fights, 
These guys are into it. I mean, it ain't, you know, because, I mean, one of their teammates just got taken out. Possibly injured, you know. Maybe even a career-ending injury, you know. One asshole came out from behind him and, boom, just cold cocked, cold cocked him, cross-checked him, you know. And again, it might have been a career-ending injury. So, oh, my God, the, the, the fighters, the fights in these, they're into it. I mean, just, you know, run, you fucking asshole, and just, you know, I mean, just big old, you know, pistol like that. <laughs> and oftentimes, uh, the guy who initiated the cheap, the, initiated the cheap shot, he didn't, doesn't even see it coming. Like, you'll see, like, one of his teammates just sitting there wailing on him, and, and, you know, and the bad guy is just, ah, ah leave me alone, ah, you know, so, you know, and, and again, oftentimes, they're not, the ones I've seen, they're not literal, literal bench clearing brawls or anything. But yeah, it's, it's like pretty much the whole both, you know, both teams are just going at it. Oftentimes, just crowding, you know, um, like, like you know, you got the one guy wailing on, wailing on the other guy, and then like, either one of his teammates or somebody from the other team is trying to pull him off. But then another guy comes in. Trying to trying to pull him off to keep him from pulling the other guy off, and he just it's like this big old definitely for lack of a better word a scrum. I mean, just this big old pile up of all these players in one area. But yeah, like I said, these fights are pretty intense. So it it, it isn't like most other most other hockey fights that I see. A lot of times it's planned out. It's like pro wrestling on ice. You know, there's um, Tai Domi, or Tai Domai, or however you pronounce his name. Uh, he's, I mean, he uh, he got into fights just for the. Okay. I think he was trying to go for the heavyweight champion, or he's trying to go for the heavyweight title, heavyweight belt, or something like that. But yeah, he, he the only reason why he was in there is just to get into a fight with somebody. Um, I think there were other players like that too. Um, Colton Orr was another one. I read some something about him somewhere, but yeah, like he's he loves to fight, so he's often picking fights with people. But you know, you, you get the idea of you know, what I'm saying. It's just the most most uh, hockey fights they're planned in advance. You know, I mean, I've heard a few uh, mic'd up moments. Some of these hockey players standing there like, "Hey man, you want a goal?" Oh, huh. all right, you know. You know, gloves come off and they're just, you know, beating on each other. You know, like it's all set up. You know. Hey, man, I'm bored. You want to scrap or something? Eh, why not? In fact, I just remembered this. Uh, many years ago, probably back, probably back in the 90s or 2000s, I was, um, I was vending beer. Like, I worked, uh, like I was, uh, I was vending beer at, like, the, uh, Tulsa, Tulsa Ice Oiler Games. It's a minor league uh, hockey team. You know, and you're vending beer, you know, I'm walking up and down the aisle going, Ice Cold Beer! And then, you know, somebody in the audience, Hey, I'll have one! You know, that kind of thing. That I had that job for a while. Uh, but anyway, but yeah, there, there's, I mean, I was sitting here, there's times where I'll watch like two hockey players. You know, and they're sitting there, blah, 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 talking to each other, looking at the clock. You know, looking at the clock, looking at each other. And they'll be blah, 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 talking about something, looking at the clock, and then looking at each other. Blah, blah, blah. And, and then it, it's like, you know, it's like they're, you know, it's like they plan the stuff out, you know. Just, but, you know, again, going, but, you know, again, going back to what I was, uh, going back to what I was saying, I, I actually made a playlist out of all these protecting teammates, so definitely gonna be binge watching that. You know, but like I said, this is—I mean, these guys are serious. I mean, again, you know, what are their teammates got? I mean, what are their teammates got T-boned or something? You know, and then possibly might have ended their career. I mean, oh damn. Anyway, you know, the stakes are higher. I. I guess that'd be the phrase I'm looking for. So. <sighs> yeah, I've, 
think we're beginning to venture into the Creepazoid territory here. Okay, video's almost over. Center Island here. So, I'm guessing what he's... I'm guessing it's gonna end where he gets on the ferry boat. So... Um, one other thing. In fact, I'll probably want to pause this. But yeah, one other thing I... One other thing is too is uh, I'm starting to look into another uh, into another movie editor. The one I got now, Windows Movie Maker. And for those that don't understand what the meme means, Sony, you know, Sony Vegas is a small brain, medium brain, large brain, um, heart, mind, body, soul, or whatever. But I got Windows Movie Maker and and. I went on when I was putting this cast together I'm I saw this I'm like yeah you can't hardly do anything on Windows Movie Maker and from what I understand Sony Vegas is supposed to be one of the best uh, video editing software thingies out there like it can do damn near anything um youtubers like Emperor Lemon probably use it I mean, it's just like you know feature rich and all that so Whereas what I got, Windows Movie Maker, is pretty much ass. I mean, I actually get more mileage out of OBS. Out of OBS, it's what I'm using right now, and it's not even meant for video editing. And it's like the only. Here, let me. Well, yeah, and, it, and this OBS, it's not even meant for video editing. But like I said, I am, I'm actually getting more usage out of OBS and I am a uh, Windows Movie Maker. I mean, the only thing I really use Movie Maker for now is just like maybe making clips or something. Or, or if I need to add text or something like that. If I gotta add text to a video. Um, but yeah, but like I said, I'm at, I, I also spent a little bit of time trying to trying to look for different video editing software but I'm it's got to be free that's probably the big one with me and uh, I don't I don't want a trial because oftentimes because usually I mean trial to me is a waste of my time because oftentimes I can tell whether a uh, whether a program is good or not within like the first first hour or so of me using it I'll know I'll know right then and there if it's worth keeping or worth getting rid of so getting a free trial doesn't mean shit to me because I'll probably end up I'll probably end up canceling it like almost immediately after anyway keep turning okay he's moving but yeah I don't some of these I've said this in another cast too some of these uh, videos that you know what you're seeing here you know just walking around walking around people they get a little too creepy like they'll walk like right behind them like for long periods uh, no usually I'll skip those but but yeah like I said um I'm looking into another video editor but it, it's got to be free and it's got to be better than the one I got, Windows Movie Maker. You know, because I'm, I'm at a point now. I want to, I want to do more. I want to do do more when making these videos. But the problem is, is I'm pretty much hamstrung by what I got. Because uh, for one one big reason why, like for example, I can't do this on Windows Movie Maker. So you're gonna get this is I'm gonna show you a little bit of a behind the scenes thingy here, but I can't do that on Windows Movie Maker. Believe it or not. I can't do that. I have to. I would have to take, I would have, have to take a video clip. I would basically have to chop it. I'd have to, you know, cut the end off of it. I, 
I don't really want to, I don't want to open Windows Movie Maker right now, but it would be a lot easier to show you than tell you, but like I said, under the circumstances, I don't, and it's already been about 20 minutes, so, basically, I would have, what I'm doing here on OBS would take me a whole metric ton of work just to make work on a okay so now we're jamming up okay yeah too late I'll just leave it here um but anyway like I said I could do the kind of kind of a recap I'm looking into better vet video editing software Something better than Windows Movie Maker, but but again, it has to be free without a trial. So, but again, I forgot to mention this a few minutes ago, but nearly everything I'm looking at, um, is there's a there's a trial and you have to pay something. I think the cheapest I found, I don't know the name, but uh, you had to pay like ten bucks a month. So, no. And again, with, um, if it's got a trial, I don't really want it. Because, like I said, I, I could probably tell within about an hour or so of me using it if I'm going to like it or hate it. So, I don't need a whole month. So, it just, I mean, as, as innocuous as it might sound, it just, it's too much of a pain in the butt for me to just, cancel a trial almost immediately after getting it so I would just as soon as uh just download the full version so it's either full or no and once again um I'm actually getting a lot more mileage out of OBS a program that's not even designed to vi edit videos than I do out of uh, Windows Movie Maker here I'm gonna take a drink here real quick Okay, but um, otherwise, that's going to do it for me. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today. So, and then tomorrow it'll be, uh, yeah, tomorrow it's going to be part three of four on Toronto Islands. Unless, unless I have a sudden change of heart and want to play something else. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And um, again, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. So, so until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.